Hello Aries, I'm here to give you insight for the month of March 2022. So I'm going to be taking a look at my crystal ball and seeing what message I get for you guys. And I will be pulling some cards after. So let's see Aries, Aries, let's see. Okay, some of you Aries could be dealing with some anxiety. I see some of you like biting your lips, this anxiousness, nail, nail biting as well. Okay, so dealing with some anxiety, it could be in regards to the situation that you're in. It could be in regards to um, someone else. Maybe you're thinking about someone else. Okay, a situation that involves someone else. It could be giving you some type of anxiety. Um, I was hearing spacing out a bit. Okay, so some of you could be spacing out a bit. Okay, um, I see some of you getting on your horse and riding off into the sunset. So, so that could mean that some of you could be on your high horse or taking the high road. Um, I was hearing the movers and the shakers. Okay, so things could be happening really fast. It's just kind of fast paced. And maybe that's why some of you guys are having some anxiety. Some of you could be stress eating as well, okay? Um, I don't know. I just saw some of you just lacing up your shoes, like lacing them up. And you're lacing them up because you're like getting ready to sprint. You're getting ready to run. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out what that means um, um, maybe you don't want anything to slow you down so that's probably why you're lacing up those shoes you know um, okay what else am I seeing Aries I was hearing the song by Dixie Chicks ready 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 to run all I want to do is have some Fun. What's all this talk about? Love. Ready to run. So some of you could be like that in the energy. Ready to run because you want to have some fun or you just don't want to deal with love. Okay. What else am I seeing here? I was hearing touch the sky, kiss the rainbow. So some of you are just looking for happiness. Some type of joy, happiness, some, a sense of relief. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, we got the Emperor. You guys showing up as the Emperor here. Okay, the Queen of Arrows. Okay, so some of you are in your power. Some of you could be a little bit rough around the edges. Edges, you know, for some of you, you may have a good reason. Okay, you could, some of you could be dealing with the air sign person, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. You could have this in your chart. You could be in a... Let's see. Actually, no, you're not going to be a... Uh, I was going to say an Aries, Aquarius, class, but that doesn't make sense. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on with Aries in the month of March. Ready, 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 ready to run. Pick six cards. All I want to do is have some fun. <laughs> what's all this talk about? Love, ready to run. Okay, you're on your horse. Okay, Knight of Swords or Knight of Arrows. Wow, so things are happening pretty fast. Um, you're focused on your target, Aries. Um, you could have uh, a goal in mind. Um, this could be also harsh communications. You know, maybe harsh communications coming your way or maybe you're delivering this harsh harsh communications. Okay, I can see that. Um, but for some of you, you're just really focused on just moving forward. You're not allowing anything to get you down. You're breaking barriers and by, by any means necessary. It's like you're not going to allow anyone to slow you down, but just be mindful of just impulsive energy. I feel like some of you have been through some drama or experienced some um, adversity, some challenges, but you're not letting it get you down. You're continuing to move forward. You're 
um, allowing your mind uh, to guide you, okay? You're being very strategic. Not even just strategic, but just logical. It's like your mind, for some of you, your mind is like a weapon in a way, okay? It can be a weapon uh, or a tool for you, okay? It's like you have the gift uh, of a powerful mind I'm, I'm seeing here. Okay, the world, okay? Some of you could could be moving away from an ending. Something could have ended, okay, or ran its course, okay? And so you're moving forward. You're coming to a realization that a situation has ended or a situation has now been completed, okay? Um, I also see the world as an energy of protection. It's like you're protecting your energy, you're protecting your mind, you're protecting your space as well. Um, you could have been working on a project, um, doing a lot of mental work, and now things are completing for you, and you're feeling pretty good about it, I see here, okay? I feel like some of you are giving thanks to God and saying thank you, you know, thank you, thank you for this opportunity, okay? Thank you, Spirit. I, I was hearing that as well, okay? Um, but I do see an energy of protecting your space, protecting your energy. I see some of you could have been saging, doing some type of ritual, whatever, to run somebody off. <laughs> okay, it's like it's like the this person here is like lighting some sage and talking to God, and it's like running this person off. The other person's running in, in a different direction here. Okay. Uh, Knight of Arrows, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I also see a horse here. So this is, I'm getting Sagittarian energy as well. Okay. Um, ready, 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 ready to run. Okay, strength. Strength. So you could be dealing with the Leo. It could be dealing with the Virgo. Okay. So the strength, this is an... <laughs> this is like an energy of, of course, strength, being able to stand strong, being able to face challenges, adversity, not being afraid, okay? You could be um, witnessing somebody that's in this vibration, okay, with the strength, but I do see that your strength has helped propel you forward. It has helped you overcome, Um I was hearing you have defined the odds. Is it define the odds? Is that how you say it? I think I'm saying it wrong. But you have beat the odds, I'm hearing here, okay? Aries, you have beat the odds here. And it's because of how strong you are. Some of you could be petite, <laughs> but it's like you 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 pack a big punch, okay? <laughs> Some of you could be a small package, but you're just very strong, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, um, I also see um, the strength card it could be a warning of aggression. Okay, you could have been dealing with someone that was very aggressive or you could have been very aggressive. You know, you could have been experiencing someone who, like I said, who was aggressive and it's like you maintained your cool. Like you, you kept it, you kept it together. You didn't blow your top because of this person here. And I see this because you've been protecting your energy here. Okay, and if that's not the case, it's a call for you to protect your energy in the month of March, okay? Stand strong. Not every situation or every person deserves a response, okay? So just be really mindful of that, okay? Um, I was hearing like taming the beast within. Some of you could be very upset about something. Something could be just boiling. You could be boiling, okay, within, okay? It could be a situation that's just making you boil, like it's making your skin just burn, okay? But it's really a call for you to pick your battles, of course, and tame that beast within. It's hard not to get upset. It's hard not to get disappointed or angry with people, but you're being called to tame this energy here, okay? But I do see a very strong figure um, around you or a strong person around you as well. Okay, I do see this. I was hearing the, the perfect duo. Okay, so this definitely could be like Leo, Virgo energy. It doesn't even have to be um, these signs, but this is like a strong energy. Okay, it could be another person or just can just be you. 
Ooh, seven of cups. So lots of offers here. Okay, lots of offers I see here for you, Aries. I feel like you have a lot of offers here. Some of you could be kind of confused on which direction to take. Okay, um, I was hearing unlimited possibilities, which is wonderful. Some of you could, um, your emotions, because for some of you, you could be like, like I said, it, like you're, you're boiling from the inside, okay? And so since you're boiling from the inside, it can really um, mess with your emotions, okay? You may start believing certain things that are not true or, you know, you're just you get into this uh, emotional um, state to the point where you're just kind of in la-la land, okay? You're not really thinking rationally. Your emotions are just kind of ruling you and you're just believing things that are just, I don't know just kind of la la land okay that's for some of you not all of you okay not all of you but i do see some opportunities here for you i do see some opportunities here for you and it's um gonna be a call for you to make a decision okay some of you could be a little bit confused emotionally um in, in regards to a relationship a connection you may have okay cancer pisces scorpio energy uh libra energy i'm picking up as well doesn't have to be but um I'm hearing put everything out on the table, okay? So maybe everything's out on the table now and you're like, what the hell do I do with this now? <laughs> oh, goodness, eight of cups. Okay, so leaving something behind. Leaving something behind that was no longer serving you emotionally. Um, I also see that you are on a pursuit, on the pursuit of happiness. I feel like some of you Aries have made a decision and now you're able to move forward. You're able to leave a situation behind that was no longer serving you. Um, I was hearing I, I'm beat down. So emotionally, you could have been beat down and wore out. And so now you've made a decision to move forward and move towards your happiness to find your holy grail. Because after the eight of cups, it's the nine of cups. It's the wish fulfillment. It's finding that happiness, that joy. So you are moving towards that. You're moving towards happiness and joy and fulfillment. Okay. I'm also hearing that you are on an emotional equest, uh, emotional quest. You're trying to figure yourself out. You're trying to figure out your relationship. You're trying to figure out, you know, the path that you're on. Okay. You're on a quest. Ooh, justice. I was picking up on Libra energy here. So justice. Okay, so some of you could um, be dealing with the court system, dealing with legalities, um, dealing with like politics. Okay, it could be company politics. It could be actual politics. Okay, Aries, that you're dealing with. Um, but you're focused on balance and you're focused on harmony. Okay, your focus on justice. If this is not you, this is somebody else. You know, Aries, your opposite sign is Libra. So you could be dealing with the Libra, okay, that wants justice, that wants balance, that wants fairness. For some of you, they could want it their way as well. But this could also be your energy. So take it as it resonates, okay? Um, I see here that you are wanting this stability you the, the the scales could have been uneven maybe you had a lot on your plate and now you're focusing on balancing the scales okay you you had too much on your plate emotionally it was just wearing you out and so now you're focused on making things balance making things fair making things just okay I do see here that uh, justice will be served, okay, because I see justice also, not just as the court systems or legalities or contracts, it can, you, can, you guys can be dealing with some contracts here, but I also see it as karma as well, okay? So you could be witnessing someone experience like some karma, it could be good karma, it could be, you know, bad karma as well, I mean, the truth is you get back what you put out into the universe, okay? So just be mindful of that, okay? But I see balance. I see wanting this. I see desiring this. I see getting this by any means necessary. And seeing this little horn here on the floor, on the ground, the little antelope or whatever animal that is, the skeleton head, it reminds me of Aries here, okay? It reminds me of Aries, 
All right, let's see. What's going to be triggering you? What's going to be triggering you in the month of March? We're going to pick the first card because Aries, you're, you're the first house. Okay. The first house belongs to you. I see that some of you guys are focused on creating your own narrative. Um, moving forward. Um, doing what's best for you. Taking back control over your life. Getting back in the driver's seat. Okay, first card. So this is what's going to be triggering you in the month of March, Aries. When I am not happy with myself, I become inconsiderate to others. Wow. Okay. So pay attention to this. When you are not happy with yourself, you become inconsiderate to others. So sometimes when we're going through things internally, we can lash out. So it goes back to that strength card. You know, being mindful of this, uh, taming that beast within you, being fair as well, okay? So just be mindful. And sometimes we don't mean to, to be inconsiderate to others, you know? We just take it out on the wrong person. It's like misdirected uh, aggression or, or anger, you know? So just be mindful of that. Just check yourself, you know? The saying, check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? All right. And understand that we all make mistakes. All right. Let's pick a card from the middle. This is the Forest Fae Oracle. Okay. We love our Forest Fae. All right. Numina. The Numina. Look at those horns. Perfect for Aries. Numina. Seek inspiration in twilight wanderings. Mmm. Seek inspiration and in twilight wanderings. Wow. So even in situations that are not clear to you or situations that are maybe seem hectic, okay? Seek inspiration in those moments because that's an opportunity for you to gain wisdom, of course, to also gain inspiration as well, okay? So this is going to be the end of your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And Aries, if you're interested in a reading from me, feel free to reach out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.